स्वभावचिन्मयानंदम कृपा पूर्णम जगत्पति always your prana stays in forehead the moment you start moving towards the dream state it starts coming towards the vishuddhi throat center the more you move towards the deep sleep to the deep sleep state it goes to the anagata heart center same way in the death also the more you you are energetic the more you grow in the life the prana gets centered accumulated in the forehead the incoming breath bringing more prana outgoing breath going empty means your prana will be centered on the forehead if the incoming breath is bringing less prana and the outgoing breath is taking more prana means slowly the prana will slip into vishuddhi throat center if the incoming breath is not bringing prana at all only outgoing breath is taking the prana means you will fall completely into the heart center understand if you understand prana the basic truth about the prana you will understand life and death dreams and deep sleep both have got same formula same formula actually from life to death falling from waking state to falling to the deep sleep state both are directly related to prana movement if the prana movements prana coming in going out if it is handled properly you can handle the life and death and dream and deep sleep both can be handled just by handling the prana prana is the thread if you know how to handle that single thread you can handle life death and dream and deep sleep dream and sleep life and death both can be handled just by the single key single thread called prana it's a very deep yogic subject It's a very intense subject. I'm trying to explain the intense truth, the intense subject, basic things about the life, how you grow towards the life, or you grow towards the death. In life, you can see till particular age, you will be becoming more and more strong. after that age you will be becoming more and more weak that point that center point is what ayurveda calls as peak age or the peak energy growing towards the life or growing towards the death going towards the life or going towards the death both are directly connected to the prana both are directly connected to the movement of the prana shakti same way moving towards the dream or moving towards the deep sleep the dream and deep sleep both are connected to the movement of prana if you can handle the prana to control the dream and deep sleep you will be able to handle the prana to control the life and death itself shiva says very beautifully if you can be aware of dreams if you can be aware when you fall into the dream state when your consciousness is slowly fading away whenever you are falling asleep whenever your consciousness is slowly fading away if you can remain aware if you can be aware you will be able to handle 
change the dream itself. And if you are able to change the dream, it will be very clear. One more thing. If you are able to change the dream, the first thing you will do is you will stop dreaming. You will stop dreaming. Because you know uselessness of dreams. You know you are wasting time and energy in dreams. Person who can be aware of dreams will never dream. Person who is aware of life will never take one more birth. That is why in the East, all the scriptures, all the spiritual scriptures, whether it is a Vedas or Dhammapada or Jena Sutra or Guru Granth Sahib, any spiritual book, they are aimed at only one goal, not taking one more birth. Only one goal, moksha. Person who is aware of dream will never dream. He will simply stop dreaming. Person who is aware of life will not have life. He will simply stop the life. He will not take one more body. When you become aware of dream, you stop dreaming, simply enter into the deep sleep. Same way, when you become aware of life, you stop living, enter into death. Now you need to understand an important thing. When I use the word death, I don't mean you will commit suicide. When I say, when you become aware of life, you will enter into death. I don't mean you will commit suicide. You will stop living in the normal way. You will stop living with identity. You won't carry, you won't give importance to identity. That is why the enlightened masters are called dead people. Actually, the enlightened people are called, people who are already dead as far as the world is concerned. They don't have identity or they don't have life as you understand. They don't, their life cannot be called anymore as life. Practically, if you want to give any term to their life, the only term which you can give is death. They are not alive as you think. That's the reason, again and again, all the scriptures say, the spiritual people are called reborn. They are no more alive as you think. The moment you are aware of dream, you stop dreaming. The moment you are aware of life, you stop living. Stop living as you understand the life. When you are come deep, when you are in deep sleep, you are beyond dreaming. The same way, when you stop living, you are beyond life. You can never be tortured by the things of the life. The life will look just as a fade or a film. It looks like a film. It won't penetrate. It won't disturb your inner space. Let me give you the gist of this whole sutra. By bringing more and more prana into your Anya Chakra, the third eye, and being aware when the prana falls into the anagata, when you fall asleep, you will have the power over your dreams. You will be able to alter, you will be able to arrange your dreams as you want. Because of this power, you will simply stop dreaming. When you can stop dreaming, and fall asleep when you can control your dream and sleep as you want. Be very clear. You will have a tremendous power over the life and death because the dream and deep sleep are made of the same stuff in which life and death are made. 